hello everyone in this video we will learn about system call so first of all what is system call system call is nothing but a interface between an operating system and a user program or we can say it is interface between operating system and a application program let's take example suppose we are having an application program or a user program that is application this one is kernel or we can say operating system and these are the different services that is provided by this operating system now this application program is always runs in user mode so while running this application program it may require some of the services that is provided by the kernel or operating system for example if this user program wants to read some data from file then this application program is running in user mode but to read data from file this application program that is running in user mode must be switched to kernel mode so this application program is switched from user mode to kernel mode using system call so it's simply an interface between this application program or user program and an operating system or we can say kernel now system call may be vary from operating system to operating system means maybe in linux there is some different operating uh, system call maybe in unix there may be a different system call maybe in windows there may be a different system call means system call may be vary from os to os let's take example in unix read system call is like count equals to read in bracket first parameter is fd comma second parameter is buffer comma third parameter is n bytes here fd is a file descriptor that is a unique id of file when file is open permission are checked if access is allowed a number that is fd is written otherwise it gives error then file can be read or written n byte is number of bytes to read buffer is where read deposit or store some data now let us see how read system call is executed in our system here we will see step by step how system how read system call will execute here step number 1 2 and 3 here the calling program will first push parameter onto stack push fd that is file descriptor push end buffer push n byte here file descriptor and n bytes are called by value and this n buffer is called by reference so first three step calling process will simply push parameter onto the stack so these three parameters of read system call is push onto stack then after step number 4 here your calling process will call library procedure so from here call read is moved to here step number 5 it will simply put a code for reading into the register from where that code is to be read then after step number 6 here this portion is in user mode means this program is right now running in user mode now this program requires some services from operating system or from kernel so this program must be moved or switch from user mode to kernel mode so here in step number 6 it traps from user mode to kernel mode so now calling process is entered within a kernel mode or operating system again this calling process is entered in dispatch again in dispatch it will find out a particular system call handler so particular system call handler is will find out and will execute that process by system call handler one system call handler will complete its execution again your cursor or your program is moved from kernel mode to user mode so again here step number 9 it again moves from kernel mode to user mode that is return to caller now once it will return into user mode again in step number 10 to 11 it will increment the value of sp so in search away from step number 1 to step number 11 read system call we execute in this system call here this calling process is switched 
from user mode to kernel mode in step number six that is known as system call that is the interface between this user mode and this kernel mode is system call now let us see different types of system calls here we have divided our system calls into different categories depending on the nature of their work so this is the first category that is directory and file system management in this category these are the various system calls that are used to manage a directory or a file system so in this video i will just explain the important system calls to you so first system call is mkdir this system call that is make directory this system call is used to create a new directory second system call is rmdir that is remove directory this system call is used to remove an empty directory then after link this system call is used to link a file into another file means here it will create a new entry that is name 2 which points to name 1 means this right hand side parameter is created and that links to left hand side parameter third one is on link that is opposite to link that will remove one directory entry then after mount this system call is used to mount a file system and opposite to mount is on mount this system call is used to on mount a file system second category is miscellaneous in which first one is chdir that is change directory this system call is used to change the working directory then after chmod that is change mode this system call is used to change a files protection bit then after kill this system call is used to kill any process the next process management these all are the system calls that are used for a process management so first one is fork this system call is used to create a child process that is identical to a parent process second one is wait pid this system call is used to wait for a child to terminate its execution then after exe cve this system call will replace a parent's core image into the system and last one is exit that we terminate the process execution and return the status so these are the sum of the system calls that are related to a process management next one is file management these are the system calls that are related to a file management first one is open to open a file for reading or writing or for both purpose second one is close this system call is simply used to close any file or a open file then after read system call this system call is used to read the data from a file into a buffer here buffer is nothing but a area that stores data temporary this buffer is maybe in memory or maybe in some storage device then after write this system call is used to write data from buffer to a file then after position is equal to lseek that is lseek command this lseek system call is used to move the file pointer to a specified position and last one is that that gives or gets a file status information this system call is simply used to get the information about any file so these are the various types of system calls in our unix it may be possible that some of the system calls are there in windows also some of them are not available or not present in windows thank you very much